How do I find what's eating up all of my system's memory? Not super fetch? How does one diagnose slash discover memory related problems, if task manager appears to not be reporting correctly? I must have a memory leak or something, I'm at 75% usage of my 12 GB of memory, but task manager's listings of processes memory usage isn't adding up, yes, show processes from all users is checked. It seems like this phantom memory usage grows in relation to how long the system's been up. It shows that there are 118 total processes. Besides the top 5, all of them are under 50 MB. The top process is Firefox, using 2.6 GB. Adobe Premiere at 900 MB. Plugin Container at 300 MB. Pale Moon at 275 MB. Explorer.x at 94 MB. How in the world can I find what's using up the rest of my memory? It seems as if task manager isn't seeing everything that's being used. Perhaps there's some kind of memory leak. Or programs aren't releasing used memory properly. Resource monitor reports, click for larger version. Note. As my main OS drive is an SSD, Superfetch is disabled on my system. And I understand the principle that unused RAM is wasted RAM, so to speak. However, when I see my memory usage nearly used to peak capacity, it's stopping me from running slash loading subsequent programs, from my own concern, and even sends me to task to close many down, with hardly much effect on decreasing memory usage, at least noticeably and within short time period. When the memory fills up, I hate seeing the 1 GB page file on my SSD expand to the 6 GB limit I've set, and me sweating with the knowledge that my poor SSD is likely being ground down to dust as Windows heavily slash rampantly turns to using it as a full-fledged memory stick. On that note, should I just hard cap the page file to a static 1 GB? You can usually gain better insight into what is using up your memory with tools like RAMUP. Often, the memory can be used up by memory mapped files that have been pulled into RAM to increase performance. Take note of the active column in RAMUP. That is the memory that is actually currently being utilized. Indicators regarding free memory can often be misleading. This includes Windows tools like Task Manager. Further information. Mysteries of Memory Management Revealed, with Mark Rasinovich, Part 1 of 2. Mysteries of Memory Management Revealed, with Mark Rasinovich, Part 2 of 2. I also wanted to address some additional points from your question. However, when I see my memory usage nearly used to peak capacity, it's stopping me from running slash loading subsequent programs, from my own concern, and even sends me to task to close many down, with hardly much effect on decreasing memory usage, at least noticeably and within short time period. Your reasoning is perfectly fine. But, Unless you're experiencing issues due to low memory situations, you should refrain from this practice. The operating system should handle this task and flush data out to the paging file when physical memory is required. Possibly, you're also using the wrong indicator for your practice. You want to have an eye on your commit charge, process explorer terminology. The commit charge is the sum of all used memory. You can see in the screenshot, there is also a limit to it. That limit is the size of my physical memory plus the size of my paging file. 
If that limit was to be hit, that would be an issue. Which brings us to our next topic. When the memory fills up, I hate seeing the 1 GB page file on my SSD expand to the 6 GB limit I've set, and me sweating with the knowledge that my poor SSD is likely being ground down to dust as Windows heavily slash rampantly turns to using it as a full-fledged memory stick. On that note, should I just hard cap the page file to a statsy 1 GB? In my opinion, there are several things wrong here. In general, it should be strongly discouraged to set limits on the size of the paging file. Mark Rasinovich explains this in the videos I linked above, much better than I ever could. Only bad things can come from that. What is Windows supposed to do when it needs to flush out more than 6 GB of data to the paging file that you capped it at 6 GB? That is a major issue. Let Windows handle the paging file. The only thing I would strongly advise you to do, is moving the paging file away from your SSD. Tom Weidman explains this excellently in his blog post Maximizing the Lifetime of Your SSD, which I recommend you to read. In my case the reason for high memory usage was a Hyper-V virtual machine for which I had dynamic memory settings enabled for RAM. RAM app tool helped me to locate the root cause. First, I noticed in RAM app that driver lock consumed more than 29 GB out of my 32 GB RAM. Then, I found some article that explained that driver locked high memory usage can be caused by the Hyper-V dynamic memory enabled. And then I just confirmed that. RAMAP showed that, see column backslash windows backslash software distribution backslash data store backslash data store dot eb, mapped file was wasting 400 MB of my precious 4 GB RAM. Moreover Windows Update was constantly slowing down the system in process of updating that huge file. That may be a common problem for many lower end pieces. CPC Boots then writes giant data store.ed file slowing the computer down for possible resolution. I was trying to find out what is eating memory in my Windows 10. The problem is to find values which sum up into committed size shown in task manager at performance slash memory tab. Unfortunately I could not find where to get these number from. The closest is I could find is sum of page memory size 64 provided by git process and powershell. When committed in task manager was at 21.7 GB, sum of page memory size 64 for all processes was around 19 GB, 2.7 GB is still hidden somewhere. If someone knows better way to get list with processes commit size, please tell it in comments. Here is the command for PowerShell to dump list to file, then Excel will help to sum the numbers. Available fields for process are here. This URL. For start info this URL. To show only top 10 processes, add, first 10, command parameter. PS, hint to use page memory size 64 I took from here, this URL. If you want to support this channel, please consider subscribing.